Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be starting a new game. We are going to be playing uh, UFC 3. Uh, let's get straight into it. Okay, here we are then. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Right, here we are then. Um, next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title but against whom that's the question he's got 10 wins in a row he's the obvious choice for the next challenge for conor mcgregor versus tony ferguson that's the most relevant conor mcgregor tony ferguson let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see where you at mcnugget for this lightweight championship fight between Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson. Well, with much fanfare, here is one of the most entertaining champions to ever grace the octagon. He is El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. You know, it's hard to recall a boring round he's been involved with, never mind a full fight. Eddie Bravo tells stories of this guy training for six hours straight. So the recently minted Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Tony Ferguson, now staring at the biggest fight of his life tonight against the notorious Conor McGregor. This guy has devastating one-punch knockout power amongst the very best in the world at delivering a single blow to end the fight. All 
All right, so here is Conor McGregor set for another massive fight here tonight. Really, every time he fights, you've got a chance for a UFC pay-per-view record setter, and he should have a willing dance partner tonight. Tony Ferguson has been on an absolute roll. Neither man has ever been knocked out. Both chins figure to be tested here tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is four years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the challenger, Tony El Kukui. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. All right, so for the championship, you've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. Okay, here we are. All right, so this is the tutorial then. Uh, use your footwork and throw basic strikes to uh, keep uh, Ferguson on the outside of your range. Um, yeah, I know what movement is. Basic strikes, uh, X, Y, A, A, and B. Cool. Right, let's go. Now. Uh, my controller is is it? It's uh, it's not working. <laughs> Give me a quick second. Uh, okay, I plugged in my controller into my Xbox. Opens up. Okay, let me quickly go and restart the game while my controller is plugged in. Okay, here we are, guys. Uh, Opens with the left hand and last flush. Nice punch there by Ferguson. Okay, for some reason it's still not working. Um... Okay, there we go, guys. Um, it was just, um, uh, I don't know, uh, I think it was just 
some problem with the uh like the tutorial thing all i did was just uh quit the match uh i just made another one uh just to like you know get used to the controls a little bit okay let me just quickly unplug my controller there, there we go Particularly keep an eye out for in this fight are the kicks of Anthony Pettis. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. He got tagged there. All the play is lower jaw now, Joe. Starting to show some signs of swell. Nice spinning attack there. And able to land to the body. Oh, double jab. Effective punch there by Pettis. Oh my god. I, I, I don't see that. I don't see that kick uh, coming. Slightly deflected. Clean execution on that leg kick. And he lands that leg kick again. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Conor McGregor gets caught by the inside. Back. Visibly limping here. Able to land with the left hand. Here's a nice inside leg kick. What a fight we got going on here. Whoa! He's definitely hurt. Big body shot. shot. To body. Vicious combinations. Nice jab there, Joe. How about that chin? Oh, nice job there to land that body kick flush. And you can be sure... There are plenty more where that came from. Flipped him with the jab. And he lands a nice kick. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. There's a left hand. Very good exchanges here. That one hurts. Nice punch there by Pettis. That horn sounds... Oh, that was, that, was, that was a good round. That that was a good round. Usually, I, I would get knocked out in the first uh, in the first round. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. My th my thigh is red. Britain Palmer doing her thing as usual. Okay, uh, give me a quick second. Uh, I think it's on here. No. Ah, here we go. Uh, hmm. Okay, cool. Round two. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Look at that, right to the temple. McGregor's lower jaw. Oh, shit. Now, time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. 
Okay. Uh, grappling. Ah, yeah, I've, uh, I've played you a bit of USC 4, I remember, I remember this. Uh, okay, cool. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Pettis. Big punch from the bottom. Pettis gets up, he is back on the feet here. Well, he ate a pretty big head kick there, Joe, and he's got to be careful moving forward, moving into striking range, leaving that head wide open. Oh, his corner looks frustrated. Let's see if this team can make the oh, fuck. Defense. I had to go the other way for that kick. Oh, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Jesus, calm down, bro. He's down, let's go. We got him down once. since I last played UFC. Right, peace. Okay, so we're going to go and play career mode. Uh, I, uh, we don't have a lot of time in this video left. Um, Championships, though, to become the GOAT, you'll need to break UFC performance and promotional records to make your mark inside and outside the octagon. Whether you're training to improve your attributes, performing drills to unlock new techniques, or promoting yourself to gain fans and build up fights against your biggest rivals, the decisions you make in career mode will determine your legacy in the UFC. Greatness awaits. Go take it. Um, so, uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of time in the, well, uh, I'm actually about to end this video soon, but, uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, uh, first of all, select the difficulty, um, okay, we'll go normal, uh, okay, uh, over here we're gonna do, What do we have here? Um, okay. Right. We're going to do flyweight. Uh, 
striker brawler balance grappler or submission specialist uh, strike speed, uh, strike stamina, head movement, footwork, power blocking a heart chin. Um, okay, uh, we'll go brawler. Okay, and here we are. I'm going to leave the video here. Uh, hope uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Also, make sure you are subscribed and you have turned on the post notifications. Go and check out the two videos on the screen. Uh, the left one uh, is a playlist of another campaign which we're doing. The other one will just be another video which you may want to go and watch. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.